Hi everybody, in this part of the series we will cover um, the MD navigation drawer. So basically this app is an, is an example of what we'll do. So we'll have, I don't know, some app here, mine is just a button, and then on the side we'll have this really nice menu that can slide in and out. Okay, so here we'll have like a button and an image and some text. So we'll see how all that works. Okay, so that is the motivation. So let's get to the code. So right now I have my, let's get to the, the contents of my folder first. So in my project, I've copied over the KVMD package like I showed in the previous video. Um, and I just have my main.kv, main.py, and this image that I'm gonna use, okay? So when you're making a KVMD app, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is add like a color theme to it, okay? Because a lot of the a lot of the KVMD widgets look for this color theme. So we need to do from KVMD.theming import theme manager. Okay? And now in our main app class, we will say theme CLS. Make sure you use this variable name, this attribute name. Okay, theme CLS um, is, and we'll just put theme manager here. And we can play with the colors later on, but this is this will just give us the default colors. So if I don't do this and I run the app, I have a black screen, okay? So if I put this in there, now my app has been given a color theme and the main color is white, okay? So there we go, we've got a color theme in there. So now let's actually go to the KV code and let's get our, our user interface going. So the root widget of a lot of these KVMD apps is gonna be something called a navigation layout. So to grab that from KVMD, we'll do import navigation layout, and then this comes from kvmd.nav, oops, navigation drawer dot navigation layout. Okay, so now I can use this navigation layout as my root widget, okay? Now the navigation layout has two special widgets here, or two, two places to put a widget. So one, this will be your navigation drawer, which is that sliding menu, and then two is pretty much the rest of your of your entire user interface. So the first widget, uh, we'll be using an MD navigation drawer. Okay, we don't need to import this because it was already, it's been included with this import. So um, down here, let's just put a button that says, hey, okay, like I showed in the, in the example at the start. So this is kind of like my main app and this navigation layout is basically just a container for my main app that lets me use this navigation drawer, which is what we really want because that's the, the really cool menu. Okay, so in my navigation drawer, I can do some things like drawer logo, and I can give it uh, an image. So let's use my image.jpg. So that's this guy. And actually, let's see what happens if I just run it like this. Okay. Oops, I crashed. Oh, unknown class MD separator. So I forgot to import. This navigation layout relies on something called the, the separator widget, the MD separator widget. So let's just go ahead and import that from kvmd.cards.md separator. Oops, we need that import in there. Okay, so now if I run it. Okay, so I have hey, that's my main app, that's the button, right, whatever. And then here is my navigation drawer. So there's nothing in there right now. Of course, that's because we haven't put any widgets in. So if I go back here, if we add a drawer logo, so by specifying the, the path to an image, let's try running it again. And now if I open it up, boom, you can see I've got my nice image in there. So I can be a logo of your app or company or whatever you'd like. Now let's get some Let's get a little bit of text so we can use the navigation drawer subheader widget. All right, and this is just text, literally just text. So I can say the text for this uh, subheader is um, cool menu. All right, so if I run it again, now I should have my image and some text right below it. Okay, it's not a button, it's just informative. 
Okay, very nice. So now let's get to sort of the meat here. We're going to be using these navigation, a new widget called navigation drawer icon button. All right, now this one, you need to specify an icon. So icon is a string, I'll just do lock. So it'll display an image of a lock and also some text. So I'll say this is a lock, whatever. And then these are buttons, right? Icon, icon button. So these all have on release attributes. So maybe on release, I'll just say print uh, lock. Okay, so let's give this one a run. And I come over here, I can drag out my, my menu and cool, this is a lock. So if I click it, I got this really nice animation just by default, right out of the package, it's really cool. Um, if I click it, it'll automatically close the drawer, that's a feature of it, and it's printed lock. So maybe that's like to change screens. So maybe this would be like, uh, I would write some code here to change the screen of my app. And maybe if I had different screens, this widget, instead of being a button, would be a screen manager. So I'll get into that in a later video, I'm sure. Okay, so say you want some more of these. So let's just copy paste, we'll do three of them. And I'll run again. And you can see they all line up very nicely. Now if you put in like 20 of these, it'll automatically be a scrolling menu. So it's just an inherent feature. So you don't have to worry about putting in a scroll view or anything. You can just keep adding these uh, navigation drawer icon button widgets. And if they get past the screen, maybe I can make the screen really small. Yeah, see, it's already scrolling. So super, super handy. Um, now let's get into these icons here because you might not know what to choose. So there's a ton of these icons you can choose from and basically they're all listed at this GitLab page. So you might have trouble finding exactly what you want, but I would say search for like a keyword of, the, of what you want. So all of these like bookmark, that's an icon I can use, or bookmark check. So let's try those. So icon, this will be bookmark, and then this one here will be book, oops, mark, bookmark dash check. So you can see I grabbed those, bookmark, bookmark dash check, and let's run it and see what it looks like. Oops. So there you go, I've got my bookmark icon and a check bookmark. So this is where you can find all of the icons you can use. And this is important because this icon feature, so right here, this is used not only in this widget for KVMD, but in, in tons of widgets. And these are standard material design icons. So that's a really good uh, feature to know, a really good link to have. I'll put this link in the, in the description of the video so you guys can have it up. I've probably had this link up for months now, <laughs> just sitting in my browser. So really handy. And one last thing that I forgot to mention in this video was how to actually open up the navigation drawer using a function. So let's just do this with my, with my button here in the app. And I'll just say, oops, on release. Now to open up the uh, MD navigation drawer, you have to be able to refer to the navigation layout widget. So that's my root widget in my app. So I'll say app.root. And then the function is called toggle nav drawer. So this is a built-in function. I haven't defined this. So if you call the toggle nav drawer function on this navigation layout widget, uh, it should open up the menu. So let me run it again. And if I click my button, there you go. The, the menu is open. So you can put that in any kind of button you want um, to open up this door programmatically. So you don't have to always be clicking on the side here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.